Now, as I said, in deeper circuits, the main function of the circuit comprising a diode is to erase off or emit a certain <coughs> part of the signal in its oscillation of the AC signal. So, the first we are going to discuss the series positive tripper. So, series positive clipper. So, in series positive clipper, the positive half of the sinusoidal wave is erased off. So, let us discuss this circuit. So, it has a PN junction followed by a resistance in parallel and this is the circuit. So, here we have the input voltage that is AC input voltage and here is the V0 or that is the output. So, when the AC current flows, let us examine the input and here we will be examining the output. So, first we have the positive half cycle, this is the voltage and this is the channel. So, in the positive half cycle, all the voltage values are positive in nature, but the negative of the diode is connected to the positive of the voltage. So, this is voltage source. So, this is in reverse bias condition. So, in reverse bias condition, no current will pass through the diode. Therefore, in the first half of the oxidation, there will be no wave in the output. Now, coming to the second half, here, Now, the voltage here becomes negative and here becomes positive. Now, the negative of the voltage that is the AC voltage, the negative half is connected to the negative of the PN junction. So, it becomes forward biased. So, this entire voltage is passed through this, through this circuit by this resistance R. Therefore, the entire negative AC signal or the AC source is cliffed away or erased away and the negative half is present as it is. Now, when the entire AC signal is given in oscillations, the same process continues further. Now, moving on to the series negative clipper. Here, we just replace the diode by inverting it. Now, in the first half cycle, in the first half cycle, <coughs> when the positive, positive half cycle or a positive AC signal is given, the VI becomes positive negative, the positive is connected to the positive of the PN junction. Therefore, in forward bias condition, the positive half is as it is as the current flows through the diode and the voltage is same in both the ends. Now, moving on to the next half cycle that is the negative half cycle. In negative half cycle, the VI becomes negative positive. Therefore, the negative of the voltage is connected to the positive of the PN junction. Therefore, it constitutes the reverse bias condition. Therefore, the negative part is cliffed away and the process continues and the signal is seen as in the output. Only the positive half is being, only the positive half is there and the negative part is erased off. So, Now, let us move on to bias series negative clipper. The next topic, bias series negative clipper, we have a DC voltage source here. 
and the DC voltage source is V provided that V is less than VI or V is less than the peak voltage of VI. So now we have the same input sinusoidal wave. Let's see what happens to the output waveform. Now in the first wave half cycle, when the positive terminal gets connected, positive of the battery, positive terminal of the AC source is connected to the positive terminal of the PN junction, it's forward bias condition. But there is a voltage source present here where this positive terminal of the voltage source is connected to the negative terminal of the diode. Therefore, a reverse bias condition is first formed because this in the initial stage, this voltage is very low and this voltage V, the DC voltage V is greater than the voltage, the sinusoidal voltage till a particular range. So, for that particular range, the diode could not conduct. It stays in reverse bias condition. But here, when VI becomes greater than V, it starts conducting. It starts conducting because when this VI voltage becomes greater than this DC voltage V, the diode becomes forward bias from reverse bias condition. Then this starts conducting and when this decreases slowly, this VI decreases again slowly, then at that particular point, again from forward bias condition, it returns back to reverse bias condition. Therefore, it remains in the reverse bias condition till again it completes oscillation and again comes to that point where V is, <coughs> VI is less than V. Then again it starts conducting. So, this shall be the output waveform. And this range is the V, the DC voltage V. So, you could see in bias series negative flipper, only a certain peak of the input signal, input sinusoidal wave is present in the output sinusoidal wave. In this bias series negative clipper, we invert this DC voltage. Then let's see, let's analyze how the circuit operates. So, here we'll see how the output waveform is being formed. So, giving the same sinusoidal wave, first, in the positive half cycle, the positive half cycle, the positive terminal of the VI is connected to the positive terminal of the diode. So, it's for the negative clipper in forward bias condition or, sorry, so here in this bias series negative clipper, in the first half cycle of the input signal, this VI here becomes positive and here becomes negative. And the positive is connected to the positive terminal of the P injection and the negative is connected to the resistor. Therefore, this P injection is forward biased for this VI source. As well as observing the DC voltage source V, the negative terminal is connected to the negative terminal of the diode. Therefore, for this voltage V also, this PN junction or diode is in forward bias condition. Therefore, the entire first half cycle is passed as output from the input as it is for forward bias condition. Now, in the reverse bias condition, in the initial stage, the diode remains in forward bias condition until and unless this VI, the negative as this negative and this is positive in the negative half cycle but in the starting stage it decreases the value of voltage decreases from zero therefore it is 
less negative as compared to this V. Therefore, the negative here and the negative here has a different value. This negative is higher and this negative is low. Therefore, as this negative side of the end terminal is higher in the initial stage till the V becomes less than VI, the diode remains in forward bias condition. Let me explain again. When this negative, the negative in the end side of the PN junction for the voltage source, DC voltage source V is higher than that of the negative term side of the VI which is connected to the P side of the PN junction. This negative is a negative coming from a sine wave or an AC signal which is very low in the initial stage when it decreases from zero which is less than this value. Therefore, till this, till here that is the value of V, this V it remains in it remains in forward bias condition forward bias condition but after this value the diode becomes reversed reverse bias therefore the conduction stops until and unless it again reaches the value that is V which is when V becomes or sorry the VI becomes the negative of VI becomes greater than the negative of V. Then again it starts conducting and here again this oscillation is repeated as the input grows more and more. So this is the explanation of bias series negative clipper. Talking about the next clipper circuit that is shunt parallel positive clipper. So parallel positive clipper means the diode is connected in parallel with the input as well as the output. So let's observe its working principle. Here, in the first half cycle, the positive, the VI is positive here and negative here in the first half cycle, and the positive terminal of the input is connected to the positive terminal of the diode, and the negative terminal of the input is connected to the negative terminal of the diode. Therefore, this becomes forward bias. So, when it becomes forward bias, including this resistance, the current flows in this manner and this becomes a closed circuit and this part is eliminated. Therefore, no current flows in this direction. Therefore, the positive part of the positive half cycle of the input is Clift away. Therefore, it's called a clipper. It clips away. The positive half cycle is clipped away. Again, in the negative half cycle, this becomes negative and this becomes positive. And here the negative is connected to the positive terminal of the diode and positive is connected to the negative terminal of the diode. Therefore, it becomes reverse biased. So when it becomes reverse biased, the condition becomes something like this. So more or less it behaves, it becomes an open circuit. Therefore whatever the input, that many is the output. Therefore the negative half cycle is present as it is in the input signal. Again this process continues and the positive half is clipped away and the negative is present. So this is a, a shunt parallel positive clipper. Now, let's move on to the shunt parallel negative clipper. So here, the diode is reversed or inverted. Now let's see what happens. Now here, in the first half cycle, the positive of the AC voltage is connected to the negative of the diode and the negative of the DC voltage, AC voltage is connected to the positive of the diode. Therefore, this becomes reverse bias, this condition. 
therefore the entire positive half cycle is present as it becomes open circuited in the first condition whenever a diode becomes re uh, reverse biased it is treated as an open circuit and whenever a diode becomes forward biased it behaves as a closed circuit or shunt what is a shunt when a positive end is connected directly to a negative end without any resistance it's called a shunt now when this is open circuited therefore in the circuit whatever is in the input of the positive half cycle is present in the output then in the reverse bias condition sorry in the when the in the negative half cycle the negative is connected to the negative of the diode and positive is connected to the positive of the diode so it behaves as a closed circuit now but as it behaves as a closed circuit the current passes entirely through this section only no current is given here therefore there is no output in the negative half cycle so that is cleft away again the process continues and only the positive half cycle remains in the output and the negative is cleft away so this is a shunt parallel negative clipper so we discussed the shunt parallel positive clipper and the shunt parallel negative clipper so you guys be clear that shunt the meaning of shunt means a closed circuit without any resistance if there are two points this is a open circuit and when two points a and b gets connected without any resistance it's called a shunt clipper circuit and that is biased shunt positive clipper so biased means it is inside the circuit there is a dc voltage source present and shunt means sometimes it behaves as a shunt that's closed circuit and sometimes it behaves as a open circuit so let's begin the analysis of the working now when first ac signal is given in the first half cycle this is positive and this is negative positive end is connected to the <coughs> positive terminal of the diode and negative is connected to the negative terminal of this voltage and the positive terminal of the dc voltage source is also connected to the positive negative terminal the next topic of the clipper circuits that's biased shunt positive clippers so in the first case we'll examine the positive bias condition where the diode connected diode connected in this shunt manner to the voltage source vi with a biased voltage b so in the first half cycle of the input this is positive and this is negative as well as the positive terminal of the voltage b the dc voltage b is connected to the negative terminal of the diode therefore as this positive is greater than this positive voltage initially till the value of b so it remains in reverse bias condition therefore it behaves as a open circuit for the signal until and signal b i until and unless it reaches the b value so as it remains in the open open circuit the entire voltage is passed so it get passes till the voltage b is reached when the voltage b is reached this positive voltage is higher than this positive voltage therefore the diode starts conducting and it becomes forward biased and it behaves as a closed circuit so the entire current gets passed in this manner and no current is driven towards the output therefore it stays in a reverse bias condition until and unless again it takes one curve and reaches after this reaching the peak value or when the input reaches again the voltage v equal vi equals to v then again it starts conducting because again the diode becomes reverse biased as this positive is greater than this positive at this point so again it starts conducting now it remains in this conducting manner until again it reaches the b value and the process continues so you could say that by some positive clipper the 
So we have discussed about the bias and positive pupil. Next, move on to the bias and positive pupil in uh, negative bias condition. Now, in negative bias condition, initially this is positive in the first half cycle and this is negative. Positive is connected to the positive of the diode and negative is connected to the voltage and negative of the voltage is connected to the negative of the diode. So, overall it behaves as a forward bias condition taking in consideration the VI, the AC voltage as well as the DC voltage V. So, it behaves as, as it is a forward bias condition, it behaves as a closed circuit. So, no conduction in entire positive half cycle. Now, moving on to the negative half cycle. Now, in negative half cycle, this becomes negative. The negative terminal of the diode is connected to the positive terminal of the diode. The negative terminal of the VI, the AC source is connected to the positive terminal of the diode, which makes it a reverse bias or this voltage. But the negative terminal of the voltage is connected to the negative terminal of the diode which makes it a forward bias for this voltage. Therefore, initially until it reaches the minus V value, it starts conducting as it is. So, initially, so initially until it reaches the minus V value, it remains in the forward bias condition in negative half cycle also but when it reaches the minus V value at here from this point this negative becomes though this negative is constant but this negative becomes lesser therefore it starts conducting and it remains in this conducting again until it reaches the minus V again the process continues so therefore only this part or it remains conducting only it can only conduct this part of the input signal from the value minus V that is V is the voltage the DC voltage given here so we discuss the bias sun positive flipper under positive bias as well as under negative bias DC voltage now let's move on to the bias sun negative flipper. So first let us, let us discuss the bias sun negative flipper under positive bias condition. Under, pos, under positive bias condition. So, let us see how does it works. So, initially in the first half cycle, this becomes positive and this becomes negative. So, the positive terminal of the voltage VI, the AC voltage VI is connected to the negative terminal of the diode and the negative terminal of the diode is connected to the positive terminal of the voltage V. Therefore, for both this condition, sorry, for this condition it becomes reverse bias as well as for this condition also it becomes reverse bias. So, as this is reverse bias, the so circuit behaves as a open circuit. Therefore, the entire first half cycle could easily pass. Now, when it reaches here in negative half cycle, this becomes negative and this becomes positive. Therefore, the negative, this becomes negative, negative terminal of the voltage is connected to the negative terminal of the diode, but the positive terminal of the voltage is also connected to the negative terminal of the diode. So, initially, this behaves 
in a reverse bias condition till it reaches the value v so it remains conduct conducting as a open circuit but at here when this vi is greater than this v it becomes forward biased though therefore it could not conduct until again it reaches the value minus v and starts conducting and again we have as a open circuit so this process continues so therefore here the negative it is called negative clipper because the negative part the negative part is clipped away so now we will analyze the bias sign negative clipper under negative bias negative bias now in the first half cycle in the first half cycle the positive terminal of the ac voltage is connected to the negative terminal of the diode and the negative terminal of the voltage dc voltage is connected to the negative terminal of the diode so initially this is in a reverse bias condition as this vi is very less as compared to this v so till it reaches the value v it is in reverse bias condition so it behaves as a open circuit so it allows the current till it reaches the value v again from v this vi becomes more than that of this voltage v so it behaves as a closed or shunt circuit short circuit therefore the current could not pass the current will flow in this manner and it will stop conduct till again it reaches the v value and start conducting and in the negative half cycle here the negative terminal is connected to the negative terminal of the diode and the negative terminal of the voltage is connected to the positive terminal of the diode so so now <coughs> under positive half cycle the positive terminal of the voltage vi is connected to the negative of the diode and negative of the voltage v is connected to the negative of the diode so <coughs> as the negative of this v is greater than that of this voltage initially therefore it remains in reverse bias condition and as the negative this v is greater than that of this voltage initially therefore it behaves as a closed circuit as it is in forward bias condition because the n side is connected to the negative terminal of the voltage source v it is greater than this voltage so behaving as a closed circuit the current could not pass and it remains in unactivated or the circuit the positive half the entire positive half is not drained the current does not pass now in the negative half cycle the negative terminal of the voltage is connected to the negative terminal of the negative terminal of the pn junction and the negative terminal of the voltage v is connected to the positive terminal of the pn junction therefore initially till minus v it remains unconducting because it is in uh, it is in forward bias condition for this voltage v for this voltage v sorry for this vi as the negative is connected to the negative terminal of the diode it remains in forward bias condition and it does current does not pass till it reaches the value v where this negative is lesser than this this negative is greater than this negative where it becomes rever reverse biased so under reverse bias condition this behaves as a open circuit and the current starts conducting 
again until it reaches the v value or sorry the minus v value and the process continues so this is the explanation of bias circuit bias stunt negative clipper under negative bias condition so we have discussed all the clipper circuits so so on and so forth in the next class we will be discussing about the different aspects of the camper circuits and some of the clipper circuit application for example in the half wave rectifier and some of the camper circuit examples so friends today in this lecture 3 in this video we have discussed about the ac and dc resistance of diode the application of diode where we discussed about the led and a basic introduction to clampers and clippers then we moved on to the clippers then under clippers we discussed these characteristics such as the uh, series positive clippers series negative clippers series bias clippers where we introduced our dc voltage both in the positive bias as well as in the negative bias also in the shunt parallel positive clippers and shunt parallel negative clippers again bias shunt positive clippers where a dc voltage source was introduced in the circuit and which was also uh, carried out in positive as well as in negative bias condition and lately we discussed the bias shunt negative clippers so overall we discussed all types of clippers in the next class we will discuss some applications of these clippers and we will do some problems regarding the clampers also we will discuss the types of clampers what is a clamper and how does it makes the circuit to clamp a specific input signal to another space in the output so if you find this video informative please hit the like button if you have any doubt in any topic write us to in the comment section and subscribe the channel to stay connected with us thank you